and how did you become a physiotherapist? I came to be a physio through a pretty unusual pathway. Like I left school and started labouring essentially and oh. worked for like a year as a stonemason, which was pretty That's cool. Pretty different. Yeah, because I was always questioning and challenging everything. Yep. And I guess I just wasn't satisfied. And I played a lot of sports, so I was initially kind of wanting to work in elite sport. Yep. So I went to uni and I did health science initially, then I did some postgrad health science and then physio. I think a big challenge for me, having not done really well at school academically early on, was I was unsure of whether I could get through the qualification, so how challenging it would be academically. So I was really unsure as to whether I would be able to just get assignments done, be able to sit exams, those sorts of things. Yeah. And, and not many people in my family had gone through the academic pathway, yeah. so I didn't have that kind of knowledge base there as well. But then going in early, doing a foundation course and building up those skills and realising that I could do that um, was really useful. It's definitely it's a common thing. People think physio, they think all blacks physio. The reality is that it's, it's one small part of it, you know, physio is a really broad profession. For me, the thing that I really enjoy about physio is education. So in this setting, I work with physio students and patients. For me, that's more rewarding than elite sport. What would you say is one of the most satisfying things about your, yeah, your so job? I'd say probably two things. The first thing would be helping people. So we're really well placed to provide support for a range of people. Um, so that's really satisfying. The second thing for me is that I'm constantly learning. Physio is constantly evolving and you need to stay engaged. So the degree kind of sets you up with the tools to keep learning and then you have to follow that pathway.